Hey guys, so today I have some floss gloss polishes to swatch for you. These came from LiveLovePolish.com, which I will link down below in case you guys want to check these out. I have seven polishes to show you, uh, six creams and one glitter. So before I get into the swatches, I did just want to mention that these are small. I wasn't expecting these to be as small as they are when I got them. They are just a little bit larger than like a mini size, like regular mini bottle of nail polish. Um, these are five and a half mils and a mini is five. Just something to be aware of, they are a little bit small. So the first polish is called Wave Pool and this is kind of a robin's egg blue. So here is one coat of Wave Pool. So this one covers really well on the first coat. It is a tiny bit streaky though, so it is going to need at least one more. The formula is really good. It might be just a tiny bit thick, but it still spreads out very, very easily. So there is one coat of Wave Pool. I'm going to let that dry and come back for a second coat. So here is two coats of Wave Pool. This one covers completely on two coats and it covers the streaks as well. You can see that it did dry matte, so you will want a good top coat. It also tends to apply with some bridges in it. Those level themselves out fairly well, but there are still a few left after it's dry, and again, a good top coat will smooth those out. So there is two coats of Wave Pool. The next polish is called Moon Baby, and this is a light, light gray cream. So here is one coat of Moon Baby. This one is a bit sheer and a little bit streaky. It is a bit thinner than Wave Pool, so it doesn't seem to be drying with those same ridges that it Wave Pool dried with. So there is one coat of Moon Baby. I'm gonna let that dry and come back for a second coat. So here is two coats of Moon Baby. So this one is still a bit streaky with the second coat, so it is going to need a third. This does have a bit easier of a formula to work with than Wave Pool because it is a little bit thinner, but because it is a bit thinner, it is also not fully opaque in two coats. So there is two coats of Moon Baby. I'm going to let that dry and come back for a third coat. So here is three coats of Moon Baby. So this one covers completely in three coats with no streaks. Again, it applies very, very smoothly because it is a tiny bit thinner than the last one. So there is three coats of Moon Baby. The next polish is called Pony, and this is like a neon pastel peach. So here is one coat of Pony. So this one is pretty streaky on the first coat, and I think it's probably going to take a few coats to even out. It has that same thicker formula that Wave Pool had, so I feel like this is one that might have some issues with ridges. So there is one coat of Pony. I'm going to let that dry and come back for a second coat. So here is two coats of Pony. This one is still a tiny bit streaky on the second coat, so it is going to need one more. Again, a little bit of a thicker formula, so you can get some ridges. Most of them do level themselves out as it dries, though. So there is two coats of Pony. I'm going to let that dry and come back for a third coat. So here is three coats of Pony. So this one covers completely on three coats. I feel like the best way to work with these thicker formulas is just to work really, really fast and then try to leave them alone. So there is three coats of Pony. So the next polish is called Glow Star and this is a light, light, light mint green. So here is one coat of Glow Star. So this one is a little bit streaky and a little bit sheer on the first coat. It does have that thinner, easier formula that Moon Baby had. So there is one coat of Glow Star. I'm going to let that dry and come back for a second coat. So here is two coats of Glow Star. So this is still a bit streaky on two coats, so it is going to need three. The color much more closely matches what's in the bottle now though, but like I said before, there are still some streaks. So there is two coats of Glow Star. I'm going to let that dry and come back for a third coat. So here is three coats of Glow Star. So this one covers completely on three coats with no streaks. It does still have some ridges though, but I think those should even themselves out for the most part. Whatever ridges don't level themselves out though, a top coat should take care of. So there is three coats of Glow Star.
The next polish is called Lean, and this is kind of a neon pastel-ish purple. So here is one coat of Lean. This one covers really, really well on the first coat. It's almost a one coater, but it's not quite there. I still have some streaks that I can see in person. This has a fantastic formula, very, very easy to apply. It's like the perfect mix of the thicker and the thinner of the formulas that we've come across so far. So there is one coat of Lean. I'm gonna let that dry and come back for a second coat. So here is two coats of Lean. So this one covers completely on two coats with no streaks. You can see it dried to kind of a semi-matte finish, so you would want a top coat if you want it glossy. Again, has a fantastic formula. So there is two coats of Lean. The next polish is called Dime Piece, and this is a holographic silver glitter mix in a clear base. There are, I'd say, two or three different sizes of holographic silver hex glitters in here. There's nothing too chunky. It's all relatively fine. And since I already had Lean on, I am layering this one over Lean. So here is Dime Piece. This is an extremely dense glitter. It's very easy to spread out. I think you might even be able to wear this on its own, either with a sponge or with a couple coats. Because all the glitter in here is holographic, it's very, very sparkly as well. This is one that I think would be really good for gradients, just because of how it applies. So there is Dime Piece. So the last polish is Wet, and this is kind of a turquoise cream. So here is one coat of Wet. So this one is pretty streaky on the first coat, and it has that same thinner formula. So there is one coat of Wet. I'm going to let that dry and come back for a second coat. So here is two coats of Wet. So the color deepens quite a bit on the second coat, but it is still a bit streaky, so it is going to need one more. Formula is fairly easy to apply. It is a tiny bit thin, so I am hitting my cuticles a bit more than I would with a slightly thicker formula. So there is two coats of wet. I'm going to let that dry and come back for a third coat. So here is three coats of wet. So this one is completely opaque on three coats. It covers all of the streaks. I didn't have the issue with ridges with this one like I did with some of the other ones. So there is three coats of wet. So my three favorites in this collection are Pony and Wet because they are a really, really amazing, unique, maybe not unique, but bright colors. And my absolute favorite is going to have to be Lean because it is an amazing color and it also is an amazing formula. I did have some formula issues. This one was exceptional, so really, really like this one. So those are the floss gloss polishes that I have to swatch for you. I will link Live Love Polish down below where you guys can find these if you're interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later.